transgender woman who was brutally attacked on camera last month has died. Dallas police say 23-year-old Malaysia Booker was shot and killed on an East Dallas street Saturday morning. Booker made national headlines after video surfaced showing a mob of men beating her up after a minor traffic accident. Now, following that attack, police arrested 29-year-old Edward Thomas. He's out of jail. Police say that there's nothing so far connecting him to Booker's murder. Stop. Finally, a group of women is able to step in and they carry the victim away. She was taken to the hospital. She told police the attackers yelled homophobic slurs. Dallas police are trying to find them right now. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again, did you with a video. Now, I hope you all are having a very good week, having a very good day. And I know a lot of you all are too glad today is Tuesday because it means it's one day closer to the weekend. But anyway, over the weekend, this past weekend, we have lost somebody that was dear and special to the LGBTQ community and also to several other people. And that person goes by the name of Malaysia Booker. And for those of you who don't know about uh, this Malaysia Booker, this person was last seen uh, in a video, well, not last seen, but actually made international news, national news also, due to the fact that this person was, was viciously beat down and only people that came to this person rescue and helped this uh person was a group of women and like i shouted out and made the video last month in april now, this incident took place around april the 15th last year they put it all on world star a lot of people thought it was very funny just like other videos they see on world star they think it's all a game until it's them on the ground getting beat up or somewhere else getting shot then it's not a game so much but when you look at things happening to other people people like to see that type of mess and those are the type of people i like to avoid those people that's full of drama and full of bs if you know what i mean now during the process of this video you will see that it was allegedly a car accident took place. Now, who hit who and who caused the accident? I do not know. That wasn't really even documented. But you can see a group of guys stomping and beating on this person, Malaysia Booker. And one of the main one was a guy named Edward Thomas. Now, I'm not saying that Mr. Edward Thomas is responsible for this, even though he is out on, out on bail, out of jail on a $75,000 bond. I'm not saying he is responsible for this murder because that's a very serious accusation. But for his sake, I hope that he is not. And, you know, he's most likely listening just like he should be because, you know, he was involved in this situation at first. But for the murder part, I don't know anything about who did what. I'm just relaying what I have seen because I had did a story on the last month. So I felt it was only right, you know what I'm saying, to do an update and speak for this person. Now, I don't care what a person is. You can be whatever you want to be in this world because, like the good book said, we all sinned and came short of the glory you feel what i'm saying so i'm not here to preach to nobody i'm not here to say that uh you're going to hell for your beliefs or whatnot because we all done did wrong now your path and your life with god whatever you know you all have going on that's for you and him and for him to judge you not for me i'm just passing on the message but you know just because a person chooses a certain lifestyle we can't get mad at that person. You know what I'm saying? That's immaturity because you got to understand we live in an imperfect world. Not everybody's going to be perfect here. Not everybody's going to be anxious. And I hope people can understand that. But the thing is, you appreciate people for who they are. Whether you agree with it or not, as long as they don't mess with you or mess with somebody you love, you love them from a distance. You see what I'm saying? Or you just avoid them or accept them. The thing is, you don't bash people. See, that's what we have so bad in this country. We have a lot of people who trying to tell somebody else how to live their lives when their life's not even perfect. Now, I'm not taking up for nobody because they quick to tell you that you're taking up for this person, you take it up for this person like I got a dog in this race. Only thing I don't like is to see people being treated unfairly. That's what basically the whole platform is about. That's why I, sometimes when I tell those stories, I would say a person look a certain age because of the wrong they done. You know what I'm saying? I'm not looking at it like you're going to look at it for as a person 30 and I say, well, they did this, they look 50. It's because the stuff people do makes them ugly. Now, Malaysia Booker was found face down in the middle of the street and you have to wonder like wow and i have lost a friend also in dallas and on the south side some years ago i'm not gonna say no name i'm not gonna say who but they caught the person that did it and that person right now is serving life in hunts in uh texas also that killed my my friend but he was shot one time through the back and it went we came in through his back and went out through his heart and he died right there on the street so, yes, and that murder is still on solving. That's been some years ago also, and may he rest in peace. Now, for this person to get killed that's around 640 or around the 6-ish 
a.m. Saturday morning. Makes you wonder what was Malaysia doing out that time? Did they have a club going on? How did I mean was uh was Malaysia the type of person that would get up and like roam around the morning, walk around, drive around? Like what was what was Malaysia doing out there in the middle of the street around that time, or, or was Malaysia led there? That's what I want to know. And also, if anybody know information, if anybody know any information about this, please contact the authorities because just think about that. That could be your cousin. That could be somebody in your family. We have to stop looking at people just because a person adapt a certain lifestyle does not mean they're not human. They still deserve respect if they give respect also because you have people out here who's not even involved with the lifestyle and still disrespect the hell out of you. So we have to look at it like that also. But I'm going to read a snippet from this story and I'm going to give a quick uh, opinion. Surely as I go, transgender woman who was attacked in April found dead on Dallas street. And like I said, when I first heard this, you know, I was shocked basically. But then again, I wasn't surprised because I was like, you know, when you get into these type of incidents in these cities, whether it's Baltimore, whether it's Chicago, whether it's Atlanta, whether it's New York, LA, Houston, whatever, you have to pretty much move because you never know who you have offended or, you know what I'm saying? The person that you're doing a video about, which the main antagonist of that video was the guy, Edward Tummers. And I'm not saying that he's responsible for this, but, you know, he got dragged pretty bad for being the main one attacking uh, Malaysia. So the wise thing would have done was to move. But, you know, it's too late to say that now. Now, a transgender woman whose brutal assault in April was captured on video has been found dead on a Dallas street, police said. Police responded to a report of a shooting in a 7200 block of Valley Green Drive around 6.40 a.m. Saturday, Dallas Police Major Vincent Wetterton said. Now, like I said, what was Malaysia doing out around this time in the morning? Like, was you on your way to work? Was you just a morning person to type just, you know what I'm saying, walk around or what? Because something had to lead you outside around that time in the morning. Upon arrival, officers found the complainant lying face down in the street, deceased from homicidal violence. So I guess they said it was a shooting, so got shot up basically. Now I don't know whether whether uh the bullets hit was in the head or whether it was in the chest or whatever whatever area, but it was due to gun violence. And that was said by Dallas Police Major Vincent Wetterton. Now the the woman was not carrying identification, but the medical examiner positively identified her as Malaysia Booker on Sunday afternoon, he told reporters. In a separate incident last month, Booker, twenty two years old now, twenty two years old, a young person, you know what I'm saying? Lost his life at a young age. You see what I'm saying? Not even make it to 25, not even 30. 22 years old now. Imagine when you was 22, what you was doing. You see what I'm saying? So you got to avoid these situations. But, but, you know, I wish, you know, it was a way you can go back in time and you can warn a person. And you can tell them, like, look, you need to move. You need to do this because this is what's going to happen to you if you stay here. And, you know, most likely that's what that was over because I haven't heard anything else bad about Malaysia itself, or, you know, that, that wasn't even bad. That was just a news thing basically telling us what happened. Now, Booker 22 was assaulted by several men in the parking lot of a Dallas apartment. The apartment is Royal Crest Apartments complex. After what police said was a minor traffic accident, just a minor traffic accident, and that turned to a full-blown scale ride. That's the point of having insurance. So if somebody hits your car, you can take it up with the insurance company and let your insurance companies do the fighting for you, but when you're dealing with low class ass people, this is what happened. I'm sorry that I offend you all because one thing about it, it's amazing how other people can treat us like shit, but then we don't do nothing. But then as soon as it's one of us, we ready to kill each other. And you know it's the truth. And if you get mad, shame on you. Video from the incident showed the suspect repeatedly punching and kicking Booker while Booker was on the ground, basically trying to cover up. And the only people that had the balls, the galls, in enough courage to break this up was a group of women, like six, seven women made these guys get off Malaysia. And I was glad to see that. And I spoke on that last one in my video. It don't take all that to fight one person. Also, if somebody going to pay you $200, like they paid $200 to Mr. Edward Thomas, and this what was uh, said, and this is factual, why didn't the person that offered the $200 fight Malaysia themselves because you know why? Because they will find out most of those people that are involved in the LGBTQ community can scrap and they'll whoop your ass. That's all I'm saying. It. I'm not trying to sugarcoat anything. I'm not trying to make it sound better than what it is. But if somebody offered you $200 to fight them, my thing would be like this. First of all, I don't need the $200. 
But I'm asking, well, why, why don't you fight them? That's a lot of money to offer somebody just to fight in the street. Why won't you fight them? You know why? Because they'll get their ass, what we call in Texas, hold out. That's all they will. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't never seen nobody get hold out, that's somebody that's in the corner just like this shaking because they done got all the noodles beat out of them. Let's go and finish up. Now, during the assault, the suspects were reported to have used homophobic slurs, and you can hear them, and police trying to determine if it was a hate crime. This was somewhat of a hate crime, but it's been going on in the black community since since whenever. It's not so much as hate. It's hate against each other. You see what I'm saying? Because no matter if Malaysia was uh, uh, transgender or not, it'd still be some hate because you got plenty brothers killing brothers. You got plenty of sisters killing sisters, and they ain't involved with that type of lifestyle. Just been taught to hate each other. Like Michael Mack said, who, who taught you to hate yourselves? Who taught you to hate the color, the texture of your skin? You remember the old the old sermon, old speech, Malcolm X, which is still true today. It rings true to this day. So it's a hate crime also, but then it's self-hate more than that because that's the problem that you have in most of these inner cities dealing with minorities, dealing with black people. You see what I'm saying? It's the fact it's self-hate. And then if you want to throw a hate crime in there for as a person being homophobic, that's whatever. But the fact is, we know that it's a lot of self-hate going on. So this would have happened regardless if Malaysia was LGBTQ or not. Think about it. Because how many times we turn a video and see us hurting each other, doing each other the worst? Male and female, especially the females. The females go harder than the men. So it's not really a hate crime, but then it's self-hate, if you know what I mean. Now, uh, it says also, I am extremely angry about what appears to be a mob violence against this woman, Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlins said at the time, those who did this did not represent how Dallas feel about our thriving LGBTQ community. We would not stand for this kind of behavior. And that's why you make examples out of people. You can't tell the people what you're going to do. You have to make examples out of people. So this is what this will happen when you cross this line. That what needs to happen. But I'm going to leave a link to the uh, to the story in the description below. So you all go check it out. Services for next Monday. Uh, the 27th at between 6, 7 p.m. next Monday. And also next Tuesday, they will have a funeral at 11 a.m. for those who want to attend Malaysia funeral and pay your final respects. But, you know what I'm saying? Let this be a lesson to all of us. Is this right here is that we have to learn to get along. You know what I'm saying? Or we will have to be alone because we cannot coexist hating each other. But let me tell you this, it wouldn't matter if Malaysia was an LGBTQ or not, transgender or whatever. The thing is, in a community, in inner cities, in any inner city, it's self-hate. No matter if it's Puerto Rican, Puerto Rican, Hispanic, Hispanic, black on black, or whatever. We deal with a lot of self-hate, but we also deal with people who take their aggression out on people who they consider, you know what I'm saying, derogatory slangs. You already know the slangs. But I'll say this right here, respect everybody like if that was your brother, if that was your sister involved in that. And once you do that, once you see it through that lens, you will respect people and you will live and let live. That's all you got to do. It's not your business what another person do. It's not your business what another person do with their body, their mouth or whatever. They have to answer for that. They have to live that life. If they get a disease or whatever, they have to perish for that. It's, it's not you. Our job as humans, for those who really understand and can think it these days, because it's hard to make people think these days. It's like when you're speaking when they hear it, it's like you're speaking a foreign language to them. Like they don't even know what you're talking about. You have to accept people for who they are. And if you can't accept them, move around. This world is big enough for us to all live together. Like I said, if you can't be around somebody, don't be around them. Go, go elsewhere. You have a choice. But everybody deserves respect. That's all I'm saying. It's not like Malaysia was out here raping children, killing people, robbing old ladies. Didn't do none of that. She just... This person just chose a certain lifestyle, and that's what this person adapted. It's no different between somebody else adopting the lifestyle if we want to talk about right and wrong. Let me know, know what you all think about this video. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. And definitely share this video with your family and friends. Until next time, love everybody. Respect everybody. They let you. And if not, separate. It's simple. Live and let live. I'm out.